Good morning. It is Friday the 30th of August, 24... no? 2014? Definitely not. 2024. Uh, just completely wiping out the last 10 years all of a sudden. Uh, I am not recording a podcast this week. Uh, I was going to, and then I realised that I don't actually have a lot to talk about. I haven't done as nearly as much crafting as I normally would for the past couple of weeks. So I'm going to leave it and I'll be back in two weeks time with a normal podcast. In the meantime, this is a little video with a very special announcement. I'm very, very excited. I have uh, briefly mentioned this in the last couple of podcast episodes, but have not been able to go into any detail. I have teamed up with the wonderful Sam from Chaos and Kismet here on YouTube and on Instagram. I will of course link to her channel and her Instagram account in the description. We have teamed up and we are going to co-host a Halloween make-along. I'm so excited. <laughs> uh, it is called the Halloween Hats make-along and there aren't really a lot of rules to be honest other than make a hat that is Halloween themed. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Uh, all crafts are welcome. I obviously will be crocheting something. Sam will probably either crochet or knit. I don't know which. Um, but if you are... Uh, oh, words. My words have gone. That's it. I got quite a way in this time, but my words have finally gone. Um, if you practice a different craft and are capable of making a hat, using that craft then by all means do. Oh, Ned's here. <laughs> He's in the room. He's being very good and very quiet but he might just chip in every now and then. Um, what else did I want to say about it? I'm using hats in a, the word hat, in a fairly loose way um, for this make along. I have not discussed this part with Sam. I literally thought of it last night so <laughs> sorry Sam if you're watching. I'm just making stuff up now. Um, but it occurred to me that obviously yes, you know, witches' hats, great, themed beanies or bucket hats or baby hats or whatever, fantastic. But also, what about a hood? That would be cool. That would count, I think. Maybe a headband or a fascinator or something like that. So, as far as I'm concerned, pretty much anything that you can wear on your head will qualify as an entry. Um, so how to get involved? We are having a tag for Instagram but as you know by now I'm sure the way that tags work on Instagram has changed and so it's difficult to find what you're looking for if you're just searching with a tag. So there is a tag, it is uh, Hang on, let me check before I tell you. It is Halloween Hats Mal. I'll put that in the description too, along with all the other information that you need to know. Um, please do feel free to share what you're making on Instagram, on Facebook, on, I don't know, any other social media platforms that you're using. Um, feel free to use the hashtag. It won't count towards entries into the giveaway. It's just for a bit of social interaction. Let's get the word out. Uh, as to what is going on. So for entries, I'm going to set up a Ravelry group, if that's what it's called. It's the first time I've done it, so bear with me. <laughs> um, but I will set up a chat group thingy on Ravelry and I will pop a link to that in the description once I've got it sorted. Sam is going to set up a uh, Discord server, I believe, and again, I'll add the link to that, as will she. Uh, I think Sam's also releasing a video today about it, so hopefully she'll have all the information too. Um, so you can enter by posting neither of those. And you can also, if you haven't got Ravelry, haven't got Discord, or just don't want to enter, enter that way, you can email your entry through to either myself or to Sam. My voice is going. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, if you email me, you will be 
your entry will be counted as one of the Ravelry entries. If you email Sam, it will be counted as one of the Discord entries. And there will be, at the end of the Make Along, two prizes. We will, of course, draw them at random from all the entries we have received. Um, Sam has said she will make a couple of project bags, which is brilliant. She's going to send me one so that I can include it in my prize and she'll obviously include the other in hers. Um, exactly what the prizes will be, I don't know yet, but there will almost certainly be some yarn. <laughs> um, and some other bits and bobs. I was going to say we'll keep it Halloween themed, but by the time we draw the prizes, Halloween will have been and gone. So I might pop some Christmassy bits in there maybe. We shall see, because once Halloween's over, not that I want it to be over, once we get past Halloween, we're fully into planning for Christmas season, so you might get some Christmassy bits from me, we shall see. Um, at some point I will put the prize together and I'll share it on here and on Instagram and all the rest so you know what you're going to be getting. I whizzed through that very, very quickly. Um, what else do I need to tell you? Okay. We're not starting quite yet. This is the announcement video. The Make Along officially starts on Monday the 15th of September. So that's in just over two weeks time. And it runs until Thursday the 31st of October, which is of course Halloween. Uh, we will draw the um, uh, words again. We'll do the prize draw once it's closed basically and we will be in touch with the winners at that point um i think i've covered everything maybe <laughs> i think i have but if you think i've left anything out if you've got any questions you know what to do pop it in the comments or you can email me or however you want to get in touch i will do my best to respond as quickly as i can mostly i'm just excited <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't quite know. I do think I know what I'm making. Yeah, I think I'm going to make myself a witch's hat. I think I've found the pattern I want to use. I just need to dig out the yarn now. Check that I've got yarn that is suitable for it. Um, you can never have too many witch's hats, right? <laughs> I have got one, but it doesn't really fit very well and it's a bit boring. So I thought I'd crochet myself. A nice fun one. Big floppy brim and all that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, at some point in the next couple of weeks I am intending to do another little video about this where I will share the yarn I've chosen, the pattern I've chosen and that sort of thing. So look out for that. Uh, I will of course be announcing this on Instagram as well as on here. Um, well, I think that's it. So it's down to you now, get your yarn ready, have a think about what you're going to do, and get ready to join in. Alright, I am going to go, I've got a child to look after, and housework to do, and other crochet to get involved in. Um, yeah, I'll be back soon. Right, bye for now. <laughs>